Oi, 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 Wow, wow, wow. And bonjour and welcome to another vlog. We are up here, we are by the casino. Here in Monaco, as it's potential. Hold on, should I grab that? I figured that we could, we could do a bit of a different video today where I name the top five places that I've ever been and the top three things there is to do on those three places. <laughs> so, bonjour and welcome to another vlog. God, moped fest. Snowmobile. Snowmobiling. I'm gonna put it up there. We're having a bit of a struggle here today. We're gonna leave the apartment and the, uh, the power was out so the elevator didn't work so we had to carry the strollers with two uh, children that was upset. Oh well, you can't say that I didn't try. I went out there and I wanted to shoot like a video and make it nice in a nice place, but sometimes you lose your patience because nothing was going our way. So right now I'm doing a second attempt. I'm sitting out here outside our building so that I can potentially focus without having any distractions. So now we're gonna pick right back up and try it again. And we're gonna start with number five. It's like, it's hard to rank like these different places, so their rankings like, yeah, they're all good. But the one I'm gonna pick first and talk about, uh, we call that number five, is Whistler, British Columbia in Canada. And the reason why Whistler is just an incredible place. Like, there's so many good things about Whistler, so it's really hard to pick the best things you can do there, but I'm gonna name uh, the ones, the, the things that I've appreciated the, the most, and the coolest thing I think I've done in Whistler is going out with a snowmobile deep into the mountains. That was probably the one thing, if you can, that I could recommend for you to try. And then, okay, really random second thing you should try and do, but if you're in Whistler and it's snowing, go outside and look at the snowflakes because Whistler has some of the biggest snowflakes I have ever seen. And I've been a snow freak since I was like three years old, so for me, giant snowflakes is, it's a simple thing to do in Whistler. If it's snowing, go outside, look at the snowflakes. Oh, John is in heaven right now. I am. This is like what you dream on when you were a kid. Except I don't think I dreamt of snowflakes this big because I didn't know they existed. We are now called the official storm searchers. When it snows in Japan, we're off to Japan. And when you have the biggest snowflakes in the history of the world, we're in Canada. And the third thing is so many different things you can do, but just go out and ski Whistler Mountain because it is, it's like a really cool ski resort. And I've been out there skiing with friends and we've gone sort of on piste, off piste, and just ski Whistler Mountain is a great thing to do. However, sometimes you can also get lost, so don't get lost if you're skiing out of bounds in Whistler. So we call this place number four, and it is a place where, well, it's almost where our vlogging careers more or less started. It is Ibiza and Formentera. It's an incredible place. And the first time I came, I'm like, is this in Europe? So that is why that gets to spot number four. Well, if I have to name a few things to do, well, number one, just go look at the water, look at how turquoise and how incredible the place looks. Further out 
up any. I think he needs way further out. Anchor is dropped. Woohoo! It's okay, Benny. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is so clear and fantastically cold on my burnt body. So salty, so you'd float like crazy. It's like a dead sea. No, yeah. I'm tall. No, I'm short. <laughs> yeah, me too. I have to go up. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's things that maybe you shouldn't recommend to do, but cliff jumping. There are some incredible cliffs in, in the area. So if you're into that, well, make sure to check the water first. Safety is important. But that is sort of things I remember from these places. Yeah, jumping big cliffs in Ibiza, that, that's part of my list. That was so much higher. How deep I went? Yeah. Fuck, I thought we were just gonna go jump to small cliffs and like go on a metal mission. <laughs> Good job. And the third thing that I would really recommend to do is to go to Formentera and there you can rent these super old cool cars and just kind of cruise around the island, explore, look at things. Super mellow, but super, you know, just an experience with good vibes. So that for sure. Uh, it's something that I recommend to do. Yeah. Where's the, oh, is there any? Okay, we have to put the end outside. <laughs> Turning left! Place number three. It's hard to choose these places, but anyway, Japan needs to be on that list. It's an incredible country. I love so many aspects about it, but I guess the main reason that I come to Japan is to ski, I'm gonna say the world's best powder skiing. And then, maybe a slightly less extreme activity is going to Tokyo and visiting the camera shops if you're a camera nerd like I am. There's just, the camera shops there, they're on a whole other level compared to everything else. So that I advise, go check out the camera stores and yes, stores in general in Tokyo. <laughs> Black magic, Cineland. Wait, so that, this one, is this one million? 10,000 euro? Yes. This has to be like the Lambo tripods. But why does everything that's awesome in life have to be so damn expensive? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice setup. I kind of think we need a long lens. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that long. Because I mean, most of the time it's the stupidest thing ever to have, but for some stuff it's incredible. And then of course, food. Japan has incredible food. I'm unsure if we actually have any good video of it, any of it, because it's always hard to get, you know, taste across on video, but um, finding those small little places with just a few seats, um, the true little gems, uh, that's, yeah, for sure on the top three things to do in Japan list. Find good food. Three more people and then it's us. Uh, four, me four lobster roll meal. Did you hear what they said? They thought I looked like Please, Justin Bieber. Like oh. Justin Bieber. I mean, I hope not. The, like the new, like drugged out Justin. I hope it's like the cool Justin. Old one, yeah. Did we get a Bieber discount? No. No. <laughs> not you. I got food for us. Ooh. Look at this. Approved. <laughs> There's a reason why this line's really long. Looks lobster. Mega. Recommended. And then spot number two. 
It was a place I was taken for my bachelor party and if you've been watching for a while, you know that I'm talking about Lofoten in northern Norway. That place is just scenic. I mean, it's like complete opposite from like tropical places, but it's just incredible. So if you were to go, my sort of the one thing I'd recommend to try and do is to find an old fishing boat and kind of explore the area by water. Uh, doesn't matter what type of boat it is, just being on the water, seeing how scenic it is, looking up on the mountains. Um, that is very, very high on my all time nicest experience list. then you could bring your skis if you are in good uh, physical health and you can take the boat to the shore, climb up to the top of the mountain and ski down, which we also did on my bachelor party and I think that was, I've never hiked that far. So I guess the day is more about the actual hike than the skiing part, but it's cool to like start at the bottom of the fjord, hike to the top, ski down. Special ski shuttle service. This is like the most exotic skiing I've ever done. And I'm ever going to do, I think. Going from the fishing boat to dinghy. the dinghy <laughs> to, <up there laughs> to walking up there. Holy shit. There's nothing normal with this group. See you later. And then, maybe not so pleasant in the moment, but jumping in the ice cold water, butt naked, is gonna go on the list because it was like, oh, I don't wanna do this, but at the same time, it felt lovely. So simple thing, but you know, just jumping in water that you really don't wanna jump in makes you feel fantastic right after. <laughs> come on, come on, wait, 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 wait you wait, have wait, to wait. Wait, 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 wait,
per year for 20 years, so I've seen a couple places. The number one thing to do in Indonesia, which is the number one spot in my book, is traveling to the Komodo Islands and spending a couple days on a boat exploring nature, uh, the wildlife and the scenery there is just on a whole other level. So Komodo Islands, Indonesia is today's, well, my top pick for travel anywhere in the world. So I hope that that worked out in the end. As you saw, I was struggling a bit, trying to pack everything up here, being warm out. Um, yeah, but you, you, you got to see the whole thing. So hopefully this will be good. And the next video we're gonna come back with is gonna be on Thursday. And that is going to be us arriving to Cyprus. Some big adventures to come. I gotta wrap it up real quick because now it's more adventure time with family to keep them all happy. Going to go check out some fishies, which Leon loves. Stay tuned, see you guys soon. And I hope this recorded everything worked or else I'm gonna throw this camera over the railing and quit vlogging.